pregnant with our third child. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you're here and if you can't already tell from this video title I am pregnant with our third child. I am so excited. I can't believe it um, It's just been crazy how this happened and I wanted to share the backstory on the pregnancy and tell you we're having our third baby. I'm so excited, so, so excited. So my hope is that I can start sharing with you more ways on how to save money as being a mom. I know that I share a lot of tips on saving money, cooking and household things, but I also wanna share with you how to save money when you're a mom, especially when you're a mom to really young children. They are so expensive. I understand the diapers, the whites, the clothes, the daycare if you're working like I am. It's so expensive and so I'm hoping that I can share with you ways to save as being the mom. So make sure to subscribe if you have not. And if you're not a mom, please don't turn away. I'm still going to be sharing with you how to save money in your everyday life because I'm the simplified saver. All right, so let's explain about the pregnancy. So here's a little backstory. I'm Abby, I'm 25. My son Truett is three and a half. I had him when I was 21. My daughter Vera is 18 months. I had her when I was 23 and I just turned 25 and I found out the day before my birthday that I was pregnant with our third baby. Fun fact, I found out on the same day, September 6th, that I was pregnant with my son Truett. So it's actually a really lucky day for me. So I found out I was pregnant. It was semi-planned. Um, we decided just kind of on a whim we would try and if not it's fine we'll just wait to a later time we want our children to be close not too close but two years is a good start so we decided okay we'll just see so the backstory on this is that if you're close to me you know that i did not want to have another child anytime soon. I really was running away from it. I knew I wanted to have my kids close, but I just kept telling myself, Abby, you deserve a break. You don't need to have a baby. You deserve a break. Just take some time. You're, you're still young. You don't need to have a baby right now. Just give yourself a break, right? Well, I kept telling myself that and the Lord just changed me. I don't know how he does it, but it was just immediate. So I'm a control person and I like to control my life, right? But the Lord doesn't um, like that. So I was so against having a baby. I thought, hey, for our five year anniversary, we're gonna go on a vacation. That'll be fun, we deserve that as a couple, and I won't be trying to have a baby or thinking about having a baby if I know I have a vacation I'm planning on. So I planned us a vacation for our five year anniversary on a cruise, we were gonna go with some friends, and Trey kept just mentioning having another baby, and I was like, kind of want to but no we have this vacation I don't want to ruin it we're supposed to be going with people no let's not have a baby and I could tell that I was wanting to have a baby but I just really wasn't sure and we had the vacation so we're losing daylight here so stick with me so funny thing is I decided I would schedule an appointment with my OBGYN and the day of that appointment, 20 minutes before my appointment, I get an email from Royal Caribbean. Your cruise is canceled. I was just like, oh my goodness. I almost started crying. I called Trey and was like, God just canceled our cruise. And he was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, 
I just got an email from Royal Caribbean and it's canceled. And we were just talking about trying to have a baby, but this vacation was in the way. And you know what? God was like, Abby, it doesn't matter how many things you try to plan to run away from me or what I want for your life and your kids. I'm going to do it anyways. And I was just like, wow. From that moment, going to my appointment, I was just like, we're going to see. We're going to see. So that's basically what happened. It really changed, opened up my eyes, and I decided I was, not decided, but I realized I was controlling my life and I wasn't giving it to the Lord. So I've been trying to not control my life anymore. I'm trying to put it more in his hands. As you know, someone you're a control freak, that's hard to do. So I'm working on that. But what was really cool is that it just was like meant to be. So cool when things like that happen in your life. And I just really knew that like, it's what God wanted. So long story short, I am pregnant now. I am only four weeks filming this video, which I know is maybe risky, people would say, but you know, I'm putting it in God's hands, so what happens, happens. I have already filmed my pregnancy early symptoms, so that is gonna be coming up in the next couple of weeks, so make sure to subscribe to see my weekly bump dates that I'm going to be having out on my channel. My kids are so excited too. Truett really, really wants a brother, so we will see. But the really cool thing is that we are not finding out what we're having. I am so excited. We only have a boy and we have a girl, so we're prepared if we have either. So we're not going to find out what we're having. Which, control person, right? <laughs> it's going to maybe be hard, but I'm just, I'm just banking on that excitement when you find out in the delivery room. So we don't know what we're going to name it. I'm already thinking I'm having a girl just because of the symptoms. We're just like my daughter's pregnancy, but you never know. We have already told family at this point. I have not gone to a doctor's appointment yet. I'm actually going to go today to the office to schedule that. So once I get to the appointment and they check on things and I get my first picture, I will make sure to insert the sonogram in my thumbnail so you can see it. I'm just gonna be waiting and praying. So I will talk to you again next time. Make sure to be on the lookout for more of my videos. I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you again. Bye.